top of the morning to y'all beautiful people. It's your boy Peace. How you guys doing? Bro, what kind of hairstyle is this? But anyway, yes, this is the iPhone 13 Pro and this is my Real Day in the Life review. Real Day in the Life review is a review video that I'm going to use certain devices in real day in the life situation. I mean, obviously. Because I'm shooting this video, every setting on this phone will be on default. So it will rise to awake, tap to awake, auto sleep in 30 seconds, the app background refresh is on and I'm going to use some location service when I'm using like weather app and stuff. But anyway, it is 525 in the morning and the battery percentage is of course 100%. Anyway guys, I have to do some video editing from my job. I'm sorry, I'm not working out today. So I'm gonna use some Pomodoro timer apps such as Forest. I'm gonna check some weather, Google Calendar, Notion, and scroll through some Instagram and look through some little social media. So let's get right into it. I'm going all the way up. So it's been an hour and a half and right now it is 7 12 a.m. in the morning and the total battery percentage of this phone is at 96% and the screen on time is 54 minutes. The 6.1 inch OLED 120 hertz display looks amazing and feels amazing when I'm using this phone or watching YouTube videos and scrolling to social media. Plus the new notch, the 20% smaller notch to Apple advertising looks smaller, I mean way smaller on 13 Pro compared to the 13 mini. However, they still don't have like battery percentage indicator on the top, so I don't feel any type of different than, you know, the previous notch. It's just still, notch is a notch, nothing different, and, and it's still pretty thick, so it's visible, but at least it's smaller. Anyway, let me finish this meal, and after I finish my breakfast, I have to go to Shibuya and meet up with my friends, so I can test out the camera performance of this camera. So let me eat this real quick. A few moments later. I totally forgot to mention this. However, the iPhone 13 Pro does have 11% increase in the battery capacity compared to the previous model. Anyway, I'm running pretty late as usual, but let me hop on the train. You know I don't make it rain in my bedroom. We don't need a club, got a room cool. Coming at the same time, yo. You don't got the time for us. All right, so the 1000 nits on this phone is extremely bright. Even when I'm like outdoor or even in like a bright condition, like inside of the train and stuff, I can see the screen easily. And this thing is freaking awesome. And the 120 hertz is smooth very smooth promotion display. I really dig it. I know that iOS was very famous for having a smooth 60 hertz, but 120 hertz is 120 hertz. You can kind of see the difference and I'm digging it so far. Okay, so the sensor shift OIS on this camera is awesome and the technology is kind of cool to hear about it, but the actual performance doesn't really change from the normal OIS because Apple's optical stabilization was already good enough, so you don't see any type of difference, but I think this is cool or very useful when you actually shooting a like a night photography because the sensor itself is moving right now it is 11 33 in the morning and the battery percentage of this phone is at 68 percent and the total screen on time is two hours and 23 minutes which is not bad because i've been using camera features here and there and i've been scrolling through social media and looking at some chrome you know internet stuff like browsing internet stuff so i've been using 120 hertz as well cinematic mode on the 13 pro works like exactly the same as the normal 13 and 13 mini but as i said from the previous video if you crank it down to like 2.0 it looks very unnatural very artificially but if you crank it up to like four five it looks pretty cool. And the new 3X telephoto, which is 77 mil equivalent, is actually nice. Not many people that I know uses the telephoto camera, but I personally do kind of like telephoto sometimes when I'm shooting like architectural stuff, or I just wanted to zoom into some certain, you know, car or people, not in the creepy way. The new ultra wide camera does have f1.8 for the aperture, which is super crazy for a smartphone. The macro feature on this ultra wide is pretty fun to play around and I never thought I'm gonna use some macro photography in any type of you know camera gear or a smartphone, but I actually kind of dig it. I think it will be pretty fun to play around and stuff. The selfie camera on the Pro Max is exactly the same from the previous model, which is completely fine because I think iPhone selfie camera is one of the best front camera that ever existed on the world of smartphone so i'm totally happy with it hdr is good the video feature is fantastic i absolutely love the camera 
of this phone. I, I bet when I land, they gon' tell me it's luck again. See that I'm winning, it's harder to watch. I'm setting the stage, you should give me my prize. You ain't got a soul, you lacking the spirit. You talk out your neck, I'ma show you I'm with it. We test out the camera and it was very cool and 1000 nits was very bright. And yeah, overall, I think we had a great time. All right, so it is 3.49 p.m. in the afternoon and the battery percentage of this phone is at 37% and the total screen on time is four hours and five minutes. I used the camera apps for around 20 minutes and I didn't shoot a bunch of photos and videos, but I shoot a couple of photos and I use cinematic mode and use 4K60 plus the HDR, the Adobe Vision. Not only that, but this thing goes up to 1000 nits and 120 hertz per motion display and this phone is still performing pretty darn well I have to say. I do think the battery percentage or the battery performance of this phone is completely different compared to the previous model. I mean Apple did market this as like a 1.5 increase of the screen on time but I do feel like it's way more than that because the 13 mini they only increase up to 9% but this one the battery capacity the total battery capacity is up to 11%. Oh yeah and I totally forgot to mention this but the side bezel of this phone is a fingerprint magnet like geez oh my god i'm gonna play some video games for around 30 minutes and yes it's call of duty and after that i have to do some video calling with some of my clients for my freelance work so let's do that and let's see how the battery goes man okay i am super hungry it's like 5 p.m right now so let me eat some dinner okay yeah let's go eat some dinner while i was eating dinner i was watching a bunch of youtube videos for like straight 45 minutes which is not very productive but I'm totally fine with it. Right now it is 6 p.m. in the afternoon and the total battery percentage of this phone is at 18% and the screen on time is at six hour and 18 minutes, which is totally acceptable because low key I was trying to kill the battery life of the 13 Pro, but this thing held up pretty well. Without any doubt, you can say that this phone is a full day phone. Like you can use it for a full day because even when I'm hitting like six hours of screen on time, I was still able to use bunch of camera features and like a CPU intensive mode such as cinematic mode and stuff and I was able to play video games and I was watching YouTube videos with sound coming out from this phone. I didn't use Bluetooth speaker or headphone or anything which is pretty amazing. When it comes to the A15 Bionic chip the Pro model does have five core instead of four cores of the 13 or 13 mini but I didn't see any type of performance difference and I'm totally fine with even a 14 so a 15 is totally good anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys like this video please hit the like button and yes of course i'll release a comparison video between this one and the previous model and the 13 mini and the previous model of the 13 mini which is 12 mini so if you guys like to watch my other real than life video please hit these videos right here and if you guys like to watch my most recent video hit the video right here and my channel is going to be right here i hope you guys have a great day my name is peace gates and you guys already know peace out